Welcome back to the topic microservices and centralized logging. Today we'll discuss how to create Spring Boot microservice. So we'll create in two different ways. One is offline mode using Eclipse, and another is online mode using website. First we'll go by Eclipse. So install Eclipse in your local system or download from the website. Uh, Eclipse uh, available website. So once you download and launch the website. Uh, eclipse and then you click on file and then click, click on new and you see that there is nothing like gradle project so if i click on here if i expand it you need to, you can create in different uh, different different projects you can create the gradle project you can create the maven project as well so i'm going to create one gradle project click on gradle here click on next and click on next then you need to uh, provide your uh, a, a project name let's say my service and then uh, the default uh, default location if you want to change just uncheck it and browse that particular location otherwise it will go to the default workspace location so click on next and you can finish it so your uh, Spring Boot project is created. So if you see that uh, Gradle project is created, if you have uh, yeah nothing is there as of now. Now what need to do uh, for Spring Boot project? You need to download Spring Boot Starter Web. So let's go to Spring Boot Starter Web in Maven project. Let's click on here and then go to the repository. Yeah, let's say I'm taking the latest one, it is stable one here. So you can download, uh, I mean, you can get code snippet for different projects. Maybe if you are using Maven, then you can go. If you get, I'm using Gradle, so I'm just taking this and I have build.gradle here. So what it do inside dependencies, I just uh, need to. Uh, copy and paste that particular yeah just copy and paste so this file is very much required and it will download the required jar as well so if i click on here and uh, go for get a refresh you see the dependent jar is uh, downloading now okay uh, uh once the dependent jar downloaded what you need to do you need to go to that uh, uh the package and uh, need to create one uh, main class startup class so my my main service main service it could be an any name and then you need to create one yeah once once it is created you need to create one particular uh, uh, startup class so if i create that startup class let's say my service here okay so this is the startup class spring boot startup when you run that particular application the first point is uh, i mean starting from here uh, so you need to tag in a spring boot application and once it is done you uh, run it as my application java application so your spring boot will be running and this is the starting class so if you see that spring boot application is started and default uh, uh, port is 8080 if you want to change that 8080 uh, 80 into other ports then you get a properties file application that properties and you can change server dot dot port equal to let's say 8081 in this way you can create the spring boot application so another way of uh, uh, you can create the spring boot application for online way let's create the uh, spring boot let's say search spring boot boot create online okay so here is the project i mean uh, website coming click on that 
to see that you can create mabin or gedal projects i'm interested in gedal projects i'm taking a spring boot version 241 default one now i have that com dot example let's say com dot infolec infolec and then infolec it could be any name and uh, i'm not putting in a description package infolec dot infolex uh, let's say it's like it's coming on default so let's say infolex so i'm create um i want to create a jar executable and uh, take it a you can explore if explore it from here what is what is in inside the build dot girdle okay or uh, you can check what is the package structure as well and then finally you can uh, generate the yeah it's downloaded so once you download it you unzip it in your uh, any of the directory the project is downloaded i copy it to another folder and i just unzipped it i'm taking that location so here if i import it import and uh, put a take as a gradle project existing gradle project click on next click on next i need to put that particular uh, folder location so the project will be importing in the um, eclipse then you can change it and uh, do your uh, write your services like this and other services thank you thanks for watching this video is a part of video series based on the topic microservices and centralized talking if you like this video then please like share and subscribe the channel